What is going on guys and girls? My name's Evolution and welcome to my channel. So guys, another day at work, another day, another dollar. I'm saying it's a long eight hour shift, man. It was insane. But it's home time and I've got, um, got a little project to do when I get home. I need to record some gaming videos. I'll do my motorbike videos on the way home. I'll edit this when I get home. Then I need to record some gaming videos. And I'm also building a PC. And no, it's not a PC for me. It's a PC for a friend. Um, so that'll be a nice little fun project for me to do. It'll probably take the most of my day up. So it's probably going to be a long night for me today. I uh, can imagine. But yeah, I do have to admit, not only am I a motorbiker, I am a bit of a, a geek as well. Nerd, whatever you want to call me. I just like you know PCs if I'm honest and they're, they're quite a big part of my life I mean I work on PCs all day you know computers make the world go around imagine where we'd be without them but yeah no I've got a a pretty nice build myself I uh on PC a few months back and I did the one before that as well um, so yeah I've built two of my own Uh, my current one's got an i7, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, SSD, uh, terabyte for storage and external. Um, the ASUS GTX 970 because I'm an NVIDIA guy. But yes, you guys asked me about computers and I will talk for days. So, that's, uh, that's the gaming computer content all up to date with. We'll check that off our list. But for those of you that are curious, you know, in purchasing yourself a nice beast gaming PC, whether it be a laptop or a, a desktop, I'd highly recommend checking out building one yourself because it doesn't take a lot of knowledge to do it, to be honest. It's quite simple and straightforward. You can't really do it wrong uh, when it, you know, when you get round to it. And you save yourself like a hundred pounds because them custom building companies they charge a ton like we are talking like a few hundred pounds on top and yes for those of you just noticed I did slip my clutch a little bit too quickly there my bike sounded like it was gonna die but she pulled through and this my friends is why I honestly can't wait to get a 125 it would just be nice to have that extra bit of room <laughs> to be able to accelerate for instance when filtering or when in a bit of a sticky situation or to take a safe overtake you know everyone goes you know our oh, power power's bad faster vehicles are bad it's not it's how you use that power and my uh, 2015 update I will reveal my 125 soon it's sitting pretty in the back garden nice and covered up hibernating from this horrible winter weather. It's so cold right now. Like, I'm surprised I can moat vlog because usually I'm like, shivering and I just can't speak, but motor vlog is keeping my mind off it. Now that I've just spoken about it, I've just felt the freezing cold. <laughs> so anyway, moving on from the cold, we're just going to imagine we're on a nice hot beach. Sunbathing. Oh, I'm feeling a lot warm already. But anyway guys, so in all seriousness, going back to sort of gaming computers, advanced PCs and more of a general technology nowadays, like if you go back maybe 15 years, 20 years and you look at uh, mobile phones, televisions, vehicles for instance, I guess they're the most dramatically things that have advanced well off the top of my head anyway but if you think how drastically that sort of stuff has changed how rapidly they've advanced now project from today add another 10 years 15 years it's going to be insane i wonder what that guy's doing then i thought he's trying to overtake i didn't realize there was a turn in there you just imagine what sort of technology is going to be around mind equals blown right here lads like it is crazy like the amount of stuff that's going to change computers um 
households, gaming consoles, seriously. It is just going to be be crazy when I think about it. Or we could go backwards in time and there's going to be World War 3. You never know. That's the problem. With all this technology, I guess we all become at more risk. Like army, military, defence systems, um, power, so petrol. There could be a new, new fuel. Uh, what else? Heating, electricity. And I guess the obvious one is like medical development and research. Just as technology improves, it's just inc going at some insane rate, to be honest. And I guess the important advancement te technology we're forgetting about here is motorbikes at the end of the day. Like, you look back at the 1990 bikes, uh, I think you've got like the Honda CG, your, your 250 RR Mini Fireblade, your Honda NSR. And obviously there's a lot of old fashioned 1990 bikes which are awesome, but they're the few that come to head. No reason to as why they're all Honda guys to be honest, but you know, just think like you look at the late BMWs, your suspension is all electronic, you've got on your dashboard, you've got like racing mode, slick mode, all these features and you've got your ABS. I mean I know that's not too recent, but all these electronic features which are basically coming out on bikes now all the time so again add another 10 15 years and we'll we're going to be on like tron motorcycles if anyone's seen that film you know exactly what i'm talking about who knows guys one day one day